Hello everybody, this is Budrich and in this video we continue with the, the Bookmarks Manager Link Lord. Um, let's look at the notes here. Uh, at the end of the last video um, I started brainstorming a bit, uh, maybe brain farting even, uh, if we should add um, command line options or, or something. When we add a URL, it would be nice to, to specify the title and the category directly on the command line somehow. First I thought with, with uh, more arguments, like the title could be $3 and the category $2 or something like that. But um, after giving it some thought, I decided it's much better to use uh, long options, uh, command line options or short options if you prefer that, so I went ahead here and um, added uh, this stuff here um, before the main call to the main function and this will give us uh, uh, the option to use options. Right now we only have the short options T and C or title and category. Um, and I will not go into any details at all about how to write the get opt to, to enable long options here because I made a video not that long ago, um, August 9 here, um, where I go, go into details on get opt and long option support. So if you would like a primer on that, uh, watch that video instead I will leave a link to this video in the show notes. Uh, but other than that I haven't done anything more with the script here. Um, I also came up with a couple of more improvements I would like to do here to add URL before we move on to the list links uh, functionality. Uh, and I think we can do these uh, three here in just a couple of minutes. Um, better Rofi prompts. Uh, right now if we do link lord and then a URL here. Uh, ttp colon something we get first here it says title for url is the rofi prompt here and then we give it a title a title and then it says title for url again because here it's yeah it's just plain wrong it should say uh, choose a category or something um, and then select the category but uh, I think it would be nicer if uh, when it says here title for URL, URL, when it prompts us for the title, it's much better if it actually have the, the URL here in the prompt. Um, and we got the URL stored in the variable URL here, so we just change the prompt to this. And it's, of course, we need, uh, we can't use uh, single quotes if we're going to if we want to expand the variable. So now if I try to add this uh, link here, now it says uh, title for the URL and that's much better. Some, uh, sometimes you by accident uh, try to add uh, the wrong URL and then you can spot it immediately. Hey, SSF, that's not a good URL. And then you just press escape and then that's the next part here. Uh, we should also break out of the script if we don't select anything. Now I think we will get some weird stuff here because yeah, you can get really uh, annoying results when, when you don't take care of that. Uh, make sure that the uh, uh, title has a value. Um, but also let's change the prompt for uh, the category. Now we do this. And then we say, can say shoes or maybe just category for and here we could say title because then that's a little confirmation that uh, the title was entered correctly. Better row for prompts done. And here next uh, checkbox here is to test if, uh, if we have a value at all. I guess I should add one more here. Whatever we do, that we do this first. So I like to do this, make a test. If title is empty, uh, no title, and then we can do one for category, doesn't have to be more elegant than this, it's fine, it's much better than not having it at all. Um, 
Let's test it again. Can use the same URL. Prompt us for a URL uh, or the title for the URL, whatever. And now we can also see the title here. Okay, that's a good, that's not the per what I meant. And then I press escape. No category and it exits out and don't try to copy any or write to any non-existing file or whatever. Great. Um, now also let's uh, see if we can use our command line options here. So we can should be able to write something like title uh, CLI title, you know. And then it should automatically use CLI title here and never prompt us for a title when it got this option here. But it still does that, it doesn't know anything. But but what happens here when I use the command line option is that it actually um, add that to this um, option array here that I call underscore O. So underscore O title will contain uh, any, yeah, if, if we specify the title option. So um, we do this, I think. Can add two more local variables here. And one, we call that title and it is equal to O title and it defaults to null. And let's do this instead, it's faster. And then I select here and here, and then we say category. Great. So now we have specified these two as local uh, variables here. That's also good that we didn't have that before. Um, and then we, we, we test here to see if, or maybe we should do this, title is equal to title, uh, but if it's not set, set it to the output of this Rofi prompt here. And then when you write it like that, you could also save a couple of characters here by just prefixing that line with a colon. Just like, the, it's the same, um, uh, thing as we do with the environment variables. And we do the same thing here. Category is category, but if it's not defined, set it to the output of the Rofi. And if we press escape in the Rofi or somehow m makes uh, the output of Rofi here uh, empty, it will still exit out. So now if we try this uh, with a title option here, it should now uh, bring us directly to the category menu. And we get category for CLI title, we can select search and then it added it there. Uh, and if we add both category, um, cool cat, maybe a sub uh, directory, uh, here I am. And there, now it just automatically added with link and everything and created our uh, uh, cool cat subdirectory with here I am and there is our CLI title. And it took 19 milliseconds with all, all the tests and stuff that it needed to do here. So I wouldn't say this is bloated in any way. Um, another thing, I think I wrote that down. Uh, this is done. Yeah, print, print a confirmation uh, of, of uh, when, when we add a link. And I think we just printed the standard error now, but maybe later we will mm, modify our error uh, functions here to, uh, to create a dunce notification if, if needed. But whatever, let, let's just use ERM here, which will print something to standard error, but not prefix it with warning or error. And what we want to print is, yeah, that we have added this link and to which directory and whatever. So maybe we should store it in a variable. MSG, msg is equal to, maybe we should use a here document, cat and a block. Um, yeah, I think that's, ah, that's right. 
No, let's not use the here document. It's so annoying with here documents that, that the, the indentation isn't taken into account when you indent with spaces as I do. Um, I know I should probably change the tabs just for that reason and that's that's actually a good reason. And there are other similar um, quirks with, with the shell scripting, but whatever. So let's not use, sorry for that. Print F uh, added URL, then the URL, new line, as, or maybe just as uh, in there. And then we replace uh, first percentage S there, the string placeholder with uh, URL. The second one with title, and the third one with uh, uh, category. I'm sure this line is a little bit too long for my taste. There, and now we have a variable called message. Then we just do erm message. I guess we should make message local also. Let's just add the same variable again, and then we get the confirmation here. Added this URL as CLI title in CoolCat. Here I am. That's good enough. Um, and then test for existing URL title before adding. I think we wait with that, uh, but we definitely will come back to it. I think it's a great uh, little feature to add here later. But now um, I would like to, to move on to, to the next uh, function here, list links, which will uh, bring up a, uh, a Rofi again, but this time with all links. And then we can select the link and uh, add information about it to the clipboard is my thought at least with it. This could be done, we could do different things with this, but uh, we start here. And I like to add, the, add the, the function that I'm working on kind of after the main one like this. So if you wonder what I did there. So first off, uh, we want to display a row for again. Let's see if we can just do that uh, with all uh, with the content of all the files here. Or we, we want to do th three things here. Uh, the, uh, the menu should contain contains uh, one. The first the part of the menu is uh, history. Second is all links in current directory. We get back to this, what I mean here. Um, and three is all files in current directory. Four is all directories in current directory. I want to display these four th things. Um, let's wait with the history. Uh, pretend that it doesn't, or pretend it doesn't exist. So let's start here and then we add the history. Well, but because we kind of need to do the first parts before we can add things to the history, whatever. So all links in current directory. And current directory is here, link lord. When we execute list links here, the first time we execute it with a path to the link lord deed here. So then I want to display all links in that directory. Uh, and the links are stored, as we know, uh, in different files like this. So I want to display all links within all files, but I don't want to display the links in, in the subdirectories. I think you understand what I mean. Um, what that means is that we, we more or less want to cat all files in, in, the, in the current directory here. But it's not as easy. Uh, 
maybe or it is kind of easy uh, one thing we want to do is is we don't want to include dot files um, and um, yeah we don't want to include dot files let's start with that and then we got our find search here we can more or less copy the whole thing here uh, find but we don't search in link lord deed we search in let's create a local variable uh current directory is equal to dollar one and then we change this to kurdir um, here uh, let's skip the ropey Rofi part also here wait a bit with that if we just print our list here instead to to standard out see what we got and uh, this list links it will get executed if we execute list uh, or link lord without any arguments so there now it uh, displays all the files uh, no directories, only the files, uh, but the full path and everything. But here, the first thing here is that we want to list uh, um, the content of the files. So, and then we want to also list all the files as well. So maybe we, we can duplicate this, save it for, for later list all files um, we can use uh, and this gets really weird here but find uh, you can add this exec option um, which is like instead of we could also use xargs here don't really not really sure if it's maybe even better to use xargs but in one way it shouldn't it should be more efficient to use uh, the built-in do it inside find here but it's such a weird uh, weird syntax for it let's see if I remember how to write it even then this this is how you write it it's so it's so stupid uh, so this is a option for find uh, exec execute and then you you write the name of the command then this thing here is a, is a placeholder meaning uh, it will be the argument or it will be each of these will get executed uh, with this but then for some odd reason you also need to end this execute statement with a semicolon that you in turn need to escape they really liked uh, this uh, the find the makers of the find command you know hey let's just use this uh, character but isn't that already reserved by, by the shell? Whatever, we can just escape it, you know, it's perfect. But this will, this will work. Uh, this will print out all links here. It will cat all the files. And it will just do a, do a stupid cat here. Uh, and in one way, maybe that's not perfect because that uh, kind of assumes that, uh, that um, they are correctly formatted so there if, if we would add some other text here some other text that would also be included here and we don't want that in our menu but whatever maybe we can can fix that later list content of all files okay uh, and then we also want to list all the files like this now we get a list here with both the links and the files um, and now when we are only listing uh, files in the current directory also or actually this this actually uh, yeah that's good uh, it doesn't list Th this is uh, find this by default recursive so it will here list the files uh, in the other directories and it did so here as well that's another thing we need to to 
uh, um, make sure it doesn't do. Uh, and then I think the option is, and here, if I'm not mistaken now, we add that option. Is it here? Max depth one. And then it will only search, uh, it will not be recursive. Yes, now we got uh, fewer results here because now it only included the, the files here and no, nothing in the subdirectories. Um, when we list the files, uh, be, because uh, imagine this is uh, what we want to include in the menu here, how we want to, to have it listed in the menu. Uh, in the, in the last video, uh, or in the previous uh, video, we, we used um, sed to trim the directory here. There is another way to do this, um, and that uh, is to use um, find uh, option printf. And printf in find have a special uh, format string uh, called f, percentage f, which means the file name. So if we do this, and I think we need a new line here also, that will also work. And now it printed only the name of the files. And then you might ask, why didn't we use that here and use sed instead? And that's because here we actually wanted to print uh, the subdirectories. This uh, this uh, removes all uh, directories. So yeah, I, I guess it's more obvious if I remove max depth here, so it will include the files in the subdirectories. Now you can see it's a longer list, but it still only prints the file name. So that's uh, why we can use it here. Uh, and that's why we will use it, because it's easier than the sed. Um, okay, list all files. List all directories. That's uh, more or less the same thing here. Uh, but instead of type F, we use type D. Uh, and I think percentage F here will be the name of the directory. I'm not sure. No, it looks like it worked. But there's one. Um, yeah, let's remove this printf. Uh, then you will see another odd thing we'd find is that it will actually list its own. Uh, directory, the directory we are searching in, curdir here. Um, to avoid that, we also set a min depth to 1. I guess uh, min depth is 0 by default. Um, and now we can also add the printf here. There. So now we got the files and the directories listed like this. Cool. Um, and if we wanted to, we could group these three files here uh, in a block like this. And one of the benefits doing that is that we can uh, then all their output can be redirected. Uh, together to, yeah, we got the row for here, so let's use that to row for like this. And now we get the row for here with all this stuff. But here now we can also see that the, the links, uh, we don't want them displayed like this. We don't want the stupid text here. And later we will also add the, the history, uh, which will, the history will include links, also include links. Um, so we will get a bunch of duplicates. We already got duplicates, but yeah, we got some more work to do here. Uh, so I guess we do this. Uh, we put this find in a block as well. Because later we will also add the history uh, in, into this block. And then we pipe that block 
to awk. Uh, now we could start with just printing here to see that it works. Uh, so now we should get the same result. But if we wanted to remove, for example, or yeah, no, we, we get into this now. It's it, whatever. This is the format of a markdown link, remember? Uh, and how our links are stored here in the files. Um, and it gets a bit uh, weird here with awk or, or to find the, the, the... We are actually interested in two things here. The thing that is between these brackets and uh, the URL, which comes after bracket colon and then I think this space is optional <coughs> uh, what we can do uh, and we will use this uh, technique later uh, is to set the field separator for awk which by def default is uh, space and this also gets uh, problematic if we have uh, links with space in them which, which we can have let's add one of those one link like that s colon slash slash something and then we say with I have a space save it in tech and now we have a link in, in tech here that have a space in, in the title um, so white space is actually not the perfect uh, field separator here the perfect field separator when we parse this is actually brackets and you can add like both opening and closing brackets as the field separator you can have as many characters as you want as field separators um, you specify the field separator with the capital f uh, to the o command and then the field separators and when, when you want to use uh, characters uh, you put them in a regular expression character class so this uh, thing here it means this is actually a character class uh, containing brackets and to the final character class you use brackets so that's why I need to put the, the closing brackets first whatever this this creates a character class with brackets <laughs> now uh, if we instead here print uh, dollar two let's see what we get then I think we will more or less get what we want here now you can see it prints uh, the second field uh, of each record there and we get two blank lines here one of these blank lines is actually that uh, weird line that we added uh, that started with a pound symbol and the other one I believe is a blank line uh, we could, could test with, with the dollar zero again here just to see how it looks like so you see one, one of these was blank here when, when we printed the second field and when we use brackets here as field separators, then we can see here that the first field is empty. It's nothing. It's the beginning of the line, because, and then we immediately have a field separator. And the second field is what is in between the brackets. And then we have field separator, and the third field will, will be colon and this part here. Uh, yeah, we could also print the third field just to illustrate that like this mm. and we know that this is what we are interested in links uh, or lines that looks like this that uh, have two square brackets and then a URL so one test that this will almost always work here is to test if we have three fields Field 1 before the opening bracket, which is nothing, uh, field 2 the actual title, and field 3 the rest of the line. Sure, uh, if we would have like a line for some reason in our database containing uh, exactly two brackets, that would also uh, match uh, a three field line, but that's unlikely. So I think it's fine to, to just test here for. Um, nf which means number of fields on the current record if that is equal to 3 then print dollar 2 now you can see we get a nice list here 
uh, but with a lot of repetition. Because remember, um, and, and, and this is something that we will make better tests for in the add URL functions, we don't add links with the same title. That, that will just be messed up to have uh, the same link with the same title like this. But we could actually do yet another crazy dirt hack uh, awk feature here, which is uh, this. Now I think it will only print unique. No, it didn't print anything. Pretty sure maybe it incremented like that. No. I think I need to cheat, uh, or maybe not, because I don't have the sheet uh, file with me. This should work. Why you're not working, walk? Ah, it's this. It's the end here. We shouldn't use that. This will work. Didn't work. Still get duplicates here. Uh, no, it works. Weird, super, ultra weird uh, walk glitch uh, code. Uh, kind of works. Now we get a, a, a list with only links with a unique uh, title, so it will not include duplicate title links. Perfect. Um, I think I've talked about this many times before, that you can can use this to get a unique list, but I think we used it in BWP as well and stuff, and we'll, we will use it again. But um, whatever, it creates an array here uh, called A, with a key as dollar two here, meaning uh, the the title, um, and this is actually a test here before the action. The action is print, and it only does that if this test passes. And this test passes here if this array element doesn't exist. That is what this exclamation mark means. But when it tests if it doesn't exist, it will actually create it. So the next time it reaches this point. Uh, with the title uh, or yeah when it exists then then this test test fails so it will only pass once for each uh, title that's how it works uh, and it's it's really weird but it it works okay um, another thing that I would like because now everything, so, some of these are, are links, some of these are uh, files, some of them are directories. And I thought maybe we should try to add the icons to the files and the directories. Maybe we can add to the links as well. Um, just to dis distinguish what is what, so to speak. Let's see if we can do that. Um, Guess we can create some icons here. Um, link icon is equal to something. It's also local link. Perfect. There I used uh, my font awesome menu script. Also got a video about that somewhere. Uh, I will try to find that video as well and link it if you're interested in your own Rofi uh, uh, font awesome menu. And we do one for directory and one for uh, file. Link file link deed file feels like it's a bit slow. Didn't used to be that's this slow. Uh, oh, 
find their directory folder. Perfect. And of course we could use uh, the method I showed you in a couple of videos ago with uh, Fontello and use uh, our custom font whatever for this, but let's just use font awesome here now. Uh, because I'm not super impressed with these uh, icons here, but they work fine. Uh, to use icons in Rofi, I'm not sure, maybe we can and also yeah. Let's rename this I link. And then this is I file and I deed. Um, let's pass these to walk here as variables. V uh, I link is equal to I link. Let's just try with one of them. Also like to do this. Um, and these are links that we are printing now. Yeah, I guess that's the only one we need here with with. Uh, I don't know if this will work. I don't think so. It did work. Perfect. Okay, that's fine. We we are happy there for now. Um Good, and then we want to add these for 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 uh, 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 this. I don't know if we can just write list all files. Uh, I file space list deals. I deal. Not sure if uh, find likes this. <laughs> It worked. This is fine. This is good. This is great. Okay. Um, now, now comes the, the advanced parts here of, of this. If we select a link, uh, we do something with that link, the URL and stuff. That's kind of I guess we should start with that. We need to start with that. Um, and there are uh, different approaches we can take here. Uh, but I think we... Well... This approach uh, that I want to take is to use uh, mark uh, markup uh, feature for Rofi. And then you can kind of add uh, additional information to the items in the list here. That will not be visible but that... Uh, which we can use later when we select something then it will also have the URL uh, uh, in the output because when we select something here now now it just says Yahusa and uh, the Unicode here which uh, uh, is not supported here in, in my terminal uh, emulator uh, but you can actually do something with the Brophy that's called I guess we can add that to the Brophy options but that's not let's add it here I think it's called mark up rows. I think that's the. Let's see. Probably get an error if it's wrong. No, it's probably this. And when we have uh, this option in Rofi, then we can uh, add markup. We have uh, yeah in that video with the menu with the, this this menu. Uh, I talk much more about how this works, so I wouldn't go too much into detail uh, about that here either. Um, can add it as a begin block here in awk. Uh, and I create a variable called format, and the format uh, will look something like Span, uh, lang, ah, that's right. We need to use single quotes here, and that's super weird to use single quotes in awk. 
since we are using single quotes here. Uh, so what I will do now is actually define this format outside of awk and pass it as a variable. We define it here. Uh, lang is equal to percentage s. Uh, I think that's enough. Span percentage s. So the format format print f. Let's also add a new line. Um, format dollar three dollar two. I link space dollar two. Let's see if this works. No, it didn't work at all. Uh, 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 maybe it's the empty begin block here. Ah. Format was modified in a subshell. talking about huh okay weird I select the link now, and now you can see, now the link has dollar $3, you know, remember, uh, this is dollar $3, everything after the second field separator here is dollar $3, so colon, sometimes space, URL. Um, and that is stored here in this lang uh, attribute of, a sp of an empty span block here, the span doesn't contain anything. Um, but this is a way, uh, and as you can see, it, it printed this as standard out here now. Uh, Rofi did so when we selected this. And that means we can use this uh, output later. Uh, if we wanted to trim this from the colon and the, uh, maybe the space here, we could just uh, trim that here. I guess we should tidy this up a bit here also. Uh, URL is equal to gen sub um, regular expression starting with a colon optional space substitute with nothing one time in dollar three. I guess we should also add beginning of, of the stream. And then we change this to URL instead. Selecting a link, something. And now the lang attribute. And, and the reason I use lang here is because uh, this mark, markup format here, it's actually pango markup. Uh, it have a very uh, strict... Uh, list of things it supports. So so this lang attribute, it's actually where you define which language to print the text in or whatever. Uh, you can use that, but if you use like uh, uh, unsupported attributes, you would get errors. But I have found that this, this uh, works. Uh, you can also change font and font colors and stuff in, in, in this uh, markup language, but that's not uh, something that we are doing now. 
but it can sometimes be fun to have a different different color for the icon and a different color for the text or whatever but let's not get into that um, but now we have um, achieved two things here because this is only only something that we do with uh, the links uh, the file and the directory listings uh, don't have any markup uh, weird markup strings like this and that's great because then we can uh, distinguish if we uh, have selected a markup uh, or a link or not by just testing if the first character is a uh, uh, opening bracket like this, angle bracket. Uh, because on, on links and files the, the first character should be a unicode uh, icon font uh, thing here. So now we put this whole uh, thing here in a, yeah, let's call it choice is equal to this this I guess we should put quotes there. Uh, feels like I messed up the quotes now. Mm. Choice is equal to maybe we don't need the quotes even. Okay, yeah, I think I might have put the quote here and then it gets weird, maybe. Whatever. Now uh, this whole uh, block here is uh, stored uh, as a variable, the output of this block. <laughs> or, yeah, whatever, I know it's this is really weird uh, bash, uh, bash stuff going on here, but I think you, you might understand what's going on. And then first and foremost, let's just test that we have selected anything at all. Uh, otherwise, nothing selected. Whatever. Uh, if we have selected something, we need to, to test if it is a link or not. And we do that just as I uh, mentioned by testing if the first character is a left pointing uh, angle bracket. So choice, get the regular expression, starts with angle bracket. Don't like angle bracket, put it in a character class. What up, what up man? This should work. Huh. Don't wrap commands in. This might be a shell check error, maybe. We'll see. Okay. Um, If it starts, then echo, it's a link. I guess we should do an if here. Else, echo, it's a deed or file. File. And let's see. No? Okay, if I escape this then, I didn't think angle brackets had a special meaning. Selecting a link, it's a link. Selecting a directory, it's a deed or a file. Selecting a file, 
it's a DDR file. Our stupid test here works. Yeah, um, I guess uh, this uh, angular bracket, of course, it have a special meaning in bash, but I thought those were negated here in inside regular expression. Um, if it is a link, we do one thing. If it is a deed or a file, we do other things. Um, if it is a deed or a file, uh, if it is a file, then we uh, create a new uh, menu that displays only the links in that file. Uh, if it's a directory, then print all files, directories and links, just as we do here. But I guess uh, without the history then, uh, if we select the directory. Um, and if it's a link, then we put yeah, let's, let's make it easy now and, and just put the URL in the clipboard. But I was thinking maybe we should bring up uh, yet another menu and ask uh, what we want to put in the clipboard. Because sometimes you want uh, the title in the clipboard. For example, if I'm writing a markdown uh, article and I just want to see, do I have a, have a link for Google? And then I search here with, with the link lord. Yes, I have Google. And the, the title for that link in the database is Google, the amazing search engine, botnet, you know, and then I just, okay, I, I need that title, I know the link, you know, whatever, whatever. Let's, let's start with the URL. Um, I guess we create a variable called URL is equal to um, Here we could do something similar, or what we want to split on here now is um, the UR URL is in between uh, single quotes. We know that, the first single quotes. Um, and that is almost the same thing as with awk here, we, uh, like the second field. The first field, everything before the single quote, the second field everything inside the first single quoted pair and then so on and we, we are always interested in the second field here but we don't need to use uh, awk I think it's uh, it's better to use uh, cat or not cat uh, what's it called man it was a long time since I used it cut cut is the name of the command I want so Want to cut uh, field two. Uh, delimiter is. I think we need to do this a single quote. Escape a single quote like that. And then we can use this choice. I guess we should quote choice. And then echo. URL. Selecting a link, I have a space, it prints a URL. Perfect, it works. Um, and yeah, this is the first approach I was talking about storing these URLs as uh, uh, hidden text with this mark markup uh, way. The other way to do this would be to, to store all the links in an array or something and then print that array key but uh, that's more bloated I believe than doing this and we also uh, let uh, awk do a lot of the heavy lifting so to speak and uh, instead of, of doing it in, in bash I think this is this is a much more efficient way of doing this but the drawback is that we will be dependent on Rofi because I don't think uh, D menu supports this uh, uh, Pango markup, but maybe it does. I, I'm not sure, but I really don't think so. So this makes it only work with Rofi, and we need this markup rows. But we could achieve the same same things by 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 creating a, 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 an array somehow with all the links stored or something like that. But let's, let's, uh, let's use this method, method now. Um, and if we want the, the URL in the clipboard, 
um, we can just pipe it to xclip um, this will put it in the uh, primary selection I guess we should also use I like to do this to not uh, include any new lines and if we want it also in the normal clipboard I, I we can do this selection clipboard so now running link lord selecting a link goggle on nothing happened shift insert control v works perfect and i think this is also something we can come back to later i just make a note randomly somewhere here we haven't followed the notes at all here but whatever um, uh, multi action on link selection markdown format only title only url but this is something details that we can add later okay um, part one of this thing is done here what are we 56 minutes i don't know i i i feel like doing finishing this uh, listing uh in one one go here so if you have watched this far you can you can watch uh, we, we, let's do it all let me just have some coffee the next uh, part here is actually more complicated but I don't think it will take that long uh, may maybe 20 minutes or something here mm. another thing we want to do when we select the link is to actually add it to this history file I've been talking about um, And when we add some the history file, I want that to have the same format as, as the other files here. So we store it in, in a markdown format like this. Um, and that means we also uh, need the title here and not just not just um, the choice here. Or not just the URL. We also need to separate the, the title. Um, the title is uh, remember this is how it looks like so the title is everything after yeah, after the icon so I guess we could use that actually maybe that's even better either use uh, the last uh, closing angle bracket uh, and store that as the title or everything after the icon here title is equal to choice uh, trim everything from the beginning of the variable uh, till uh, icon link Selecting a link, CLI title, and it prints CLI title there. Uh, I guess we also, there's also a space that we should trim like this. So this works. It's not the cleanest I have seen in my LIFO. Yeah. But I think, um, also let's see if we can find that with spaces. Google, yeah, we have a couple of them. I have spaces. And we get the full title here in the variable. This is fine. This is good enough for me. Um, then I think we, we define this history file as a global variable here at the top of the script. History. It's fine with just history. It's equal to link lord deed slash dot history uh, 
and then we can just uh, do a printf here url title appended to history We start here, but uh, selecting something, something and there, it looks like it created the history file and there we got something colon something, the, the link, perfect. Um, but the history file now, um, I want that to be a uniquely list just as we had with BWP, uh, so I think uh, we, we do this. We go to BWP because we had a very similar function there. Yeah, here I have it. I did some copy pasting earlier even. So we copy this add to history function and I think we can use almost the exact same thing here. Go to link lord, add this function here. Uh, not sure if I like this underscores in the function name. Um, then we do this, add to history, we send this whole string here uh, as argument to add to history. And here, as you can see, I use the same variable name here uh, in this script. And this will here we also use this dirt hack to get unique list and stuff. And this will remove duplicates and add the, add what we want here to the top of the list every time. Um, it uses this. I should use temporary files here. I realized that I have been bad at using. Uh, tmpf here and tmpf is equal to make temp and then instead of bwp history we use tmpf because make temp it will create a temporary file uh, with a unique name and then what is this MVF cringe programming programmer uh, like this. So make temp. Let, let's have a quick look at make temp. Make temp without any arguments. Just prints here the uh, path to some weird file in the TMP directory. Uh, and if we open the TMP directory. No, I don't know why it didn't do that, but there. And we should have that TMP um, temporary file there somewhere. And that's that weird stuff going on now. Okay. Uh, TMP PLDWK by blah, blah D7. And we can see that exists here somewhere. D7. There it is. This is weird stuff going on here. I don't trust that. Um, um, yeah, so that's a way to, to create temporary files. Nothing else. And if you store the output of this command, like we do here, we get the path to that temporary file. And it securely add this unique string, so you, you know that you don't overwrite anything else and stuff. It's it's much better to use make temp than to create your own temporary files. You can also specify a path and a pattern, a template for the file name, and you can also create uh, temporary directories with the same command here, with just by just passing the D option. Little uh, uh, um, sidetrack there, but that's how that works. Uh, 
We use Link Lord now. Select something. Yahusa. Should add that to the top of the history file here. And it did. Let's add some more. Beaker browser. The top of the list. Select uh, Yahusa again. It should add that to the top of the list. Remove it from the. Yeah, perfect. Our history function works. Reusing good old code. Like uh, a pro. Okay, and now when we got the history file, we could add that as well here now to 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 um, to this block here. Um, because remember, this is one block that only contains the file here now. If we also want to use uh, the history file, which we want to do uh, when we are searching... Uh, we only want to include the history file when we are when link lord is the argument here to list links. And since the history now is uh, in the same format as our other link files, it's great because then it will just add that to this list. And here we make sure to not include uh, duplicates. So now when we execute link lord, it should have the, the history uh, entries here at the top of the list. Yahusa should be at the top. Ah, <laughs> I can see now that I store the URL where I should store the, the title and vice versa. But it, it, it somehow worked anyways here. But uh, it's also very easy to fix this. It is here. We just change place of this URL and the title here. Like this. Uh, and then we clean the history file, I guess. See if this works also. Ah, I guess we should add that also. If we remove the history file, delete, then we will probably get an error here now. Yeah, it tries to cat this file that doesn't exist. It still works here, but uh, we could also just um, Now, of course, it added one link there, so... Select Bullen. Bullen is in the top of the history. Link Lord Bullen is at the top of the list and it's also removed from, from the rest there. So, perfect. Um, it's weird here, it says category 4, it should say... Ah, that's right, I probably just copy-pasted uh, the prompt there. I haven't noticed that here. Category for title, we just uh, select URL or tag or something, whatever. Um, If we select a directory or a file, I guess we should first test them if, if it is a directory or a file. First we need to remove the icon here from choice. It's a directory or a file, choice. Subcat, it's a directory or a file. Unicode character space subcat. Mm. 
maybe reuse choice here, whatever. Choice is equal to choice remove from the beginning of the variable everything and a space. Now it only prints prints that. I think that's fine. Uh, then we can test if choice uh, no, if it's a directory link lord deed slash choice then echo it's a deed else echo it's a file or I guess we should do an el if it is a file else echo I don't know what this is phi then then selecting a directory it's a deed and it also prints this line we should remove that it's a deed it's a deed it's a file I guess it could be something else if we write something else here that doesn't exist in there then it says I don't know what this is and I guess we should have that we should do an echo here rx I don't know what what choice is Um, and then we want to print a new menu and do and and it's not just uh, we cannot just uh, or we could uh, add like okay print the Rofi again here and stuff but we also want to have all the add to history features adding the icon and everything so I think the best thing to do here is to execute list links again, but pass it uh, either the file or the directory here. Uh, with the directory it's easy, because it's the same thing as here, uh, because here current deed is uh, link lord deed and stuff. So we could start with the directory and that, uh, yeah, we, all, all we need to do is add, do this. Um, list links yes we should do this change this to trg trg change this to trg So check this out now, selecting a directory, selecting new f, and now it displays everything in new f here, and new f only contains one file, others which in turn contains one link, so that's all we got here, selecting that, and now we have the link to figlet in our clipboard. Um, but when we select a file, it becomes a little bit more different here, uh, but we will do the same thing here. We do pass the file, but then we have to do some other tests uh, here. Uh, in one way it's stupid to use curdir 
as, as the variable name here. Let's just call it cur instead. Current, whatever. Um, and this test is fine. Um, but here we cannot do this. Uh, we don't uh, search the file. That doesn't work. Uh, instead, what we want to do, if it is a file, then we just print uh, cat the content of the file. So we test here. Uh, if cur is a file, then uh, cat cur else do the find fi. And you see, <laughs> yeah, I know it's it's a weird script, but it kind of works, you know. This is a block, and inside this block we can do all kinds of tests and stuff, and, and all the output will then be piped into awk, which in turn pipes it to uh, uh, uh. Yeah, 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 and then we do this, this part also. Uh, if it is a file, we don't do any of these uh, uh, things either. So here maybe it's more it's better to do a test for a deed cur if that is true and here we don't need an if else we do these two things yeah, I think this works selecting a directory new f Selecting a file didn't work. I don't know what others is. Ah, 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 that's right. Selecting a file here then. Web. That worked. Now it only prints the content of the file web. But it gets weird when we select a, a, a file inside and also a directory inside the subdirectory. I don't know if I have any. Yeah, there we have Hayabusa. If we select a subdirectory in a subdirectory, then this gets weirded out. Uh, so TRG is. Link Lord Deed and Cur uh, and Choice, but only if we only add this Cur if Cur is not Link Lord Deed. I guess we need to do an if else thing here as well. We could also do a, a one of these. If cur is equal to link lord deed, works uh, it. selecting a file moispo get that link nothing selected selecting a subdirectory right will still not work if we select a subdirectory inside a subdirectory I haven't thought about this.
Homebud TMP links higher is That's an extra slash there. Is that no? Homeboard TMP links, homeboard TMP links. And this is a. Ah, 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 ah. Or. But we pass it the full path there, so we never need to. Yeah, and then I guess curve choice is always fine. You don't need this stupid test here. <laughs> now it works, and we can select subdirectory, subdirectory, file. We have created a file manager in Rofi. Perfect. Uh, let's see what I have in the notes here. Ignore hidden and stuff. Sure, we do all that st things. Prefix, print, all links in current year. If a file is selected, print yes. Did selected? Selected link to clipboard. Yeah, sure. Add to history. Yeah, I think this is uh, good enough. But I know this is uh, a really crazy uh, bash script here with nested blocks, uh, uh, lumping. Uh, uh, outputs and stuff but I think it's the best uh, way to do this but here it is a good idea here to add comments and stuff when you get code that, that looks like this I suppose maybe whatever next video we do the markdown part uh, appending uh, searching a markdown document and appending links in the da database found and of course this fonts and stuff you need the fonts need to be installed and everything for it to work but you can figure that out yourself i'm also not 100 percent happy with this because it's it's like Maybe we should rename these to uh, prefix instead here. Yeah. We should do that uh, and make this a little bit more secure. Instead of here just assuming that it's a space afterwards, we should add the space to the prefix variables here uh, instead. I think I will do that uh, off camera, so to speak tidy this up a little bit but I will probably not add much or modify this uh, much more uh, and then in the next video we continue with uh, the markdown parsing stuff uh, or another thing I will do uh, I think in in, uh, in between videos here is to actually add some uh, real link files here clean this whole archive up a bit and, and add yeah, some real links and categories and stuff. And I, I, I would really like to test uh, the performance of this. And I, I'm thinking about like adding, trying to find some, some list of links and see if I can add like thousand links or something at least. So you can see how, how useful this is. Because in real, in, in, uh, in real, uh, <laughs> in production, so to speak, and uh, 
you you will probably have a, a database with with like at least a thousand URLs in them and stuff. And and uh, I I'm interested in seeing if this is useful at all if we have such a large database. But I I actually think it it, it will work fine. Uh, so that's what I will do uh, in between videos here. Add real links. Ha ha ha. Have a great day. Excise. Bye.